I think that um, the same as I was preparing for all my fights has to be uh, very concentrative for the fight, and I am. I had amazing training camp. Uh, I started in Kyrgyzstan, my home country. Uh, then we traveled to Japan, trained there for like all, about a month. And now we are here in Las Vegas to uh, like last week, last 10 days, be exactly here. Um, I think Alexa, she is complete fighter, MMA fighter. Definitely her uh, background is more striking, but uh, as I mentioned, uh, in this level, you just cannot be just one striker or grappler. In at this level, everyone is a complete fighter. That's why in, I, I don't buy it like when people say, oh no, she's a striker. No, she's a complete fighter. No, she's a MMA fighter. And uh, yeah, I have to be ready for everything. And I am. When you look at the division and it seems like they keep trying to find opponents because you're running through everybody and you have Alexa this week and then we saw Erin Blanchfield make a statement last week. Do you like that? Does that make you excited when you see a young young fighters coming up that they want to see if they can challenge, you know, the greatest flyweight of all time? Oh, I love that. The confidence of a young girl with fight, uh, five fights. <laughs> the confidence, it's uh, amazing. And it's very, uh, like, um, it's um, funny to watch that because they kind of, like, you know, um, I would say, uh, when a little puppy growing up, you can see uh, it, like, running happy it didn't have any trouble didn't fight any other dogs yet like strong fights and it's kind of like barking all around like with ears up and this is what happened with a young fighter who doesn't lose yet but once they strike with someone like hard it's kind of like starting to change their mindset and you see them breaking you see them talking differently you see them like completely like maturing this is what happened with macy barber this is what's gonna happen with erin i know i congratulate her with the victory she did like good job what she has to do but not let not to forget that uh, jessica andrade she took one week notice fight um very doubtful that she even trained for that fight i think she just flew got some money and flew back to enjoy her free time <laughs> is the double belt something you still look at is that something down the line because it's a two two woman race for the greatest you know of all time in a lot of people's minds and that's the one thing you don't have and that's the one opponent who's defeated you arguably defeated you twice people debate that is that still one down the line at some point you, think you do it i would say only this number we will leave this this number will stay double champion this will stay on the list <laughs> so you got something that you look at in terms of your resume and your legacy <laughs> Of course, of course. Yeah, this fight it's uh, uh, it, this fight it's something that has to happen, and it will happen. I know for sure, and definitely, yeah. When it's gonna happen, I think it's gonna be right time, right place, right opponent, and it's gonna be huge. It's great, you know. I've been training so hard for all these years, and finally, after ten years, like being a pro, this opportunity came for me, and I'm super excited. I've been training really, really hard and super smart for this one. Are you, I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask anyway, are you just happy to be inside that octagon with Valentina Shevchenko or are you going into this fight planning to win this, this thing? Of course, you know, that's a plan to win. Uh, she's, she's been so dominant. So maybe uh, I have to, I, I have to finish the fight because, you know, otherwise you never know living to the judges. Yeah. So yeah, that's the, the main goal to finish the fight and, get my hand raised at the end. Do you ever think about the fact that, you know, anyone not named uh, uh, Amanda Nunes has not beaten Valentina, I think since, uh, since 2010, I wrote down here. Do you allow yourself to think about that, that she has essentially been unbeatable unless again, your name is Amanda Nunes? Yeah, I know, you know, I've been, I've been a big, big women's MMA fan. I've known all the story. I've watched all the fights. I like to follow the stories of the girls. And I'm a super fan, you know, of every of 
every one of them. So yeah, I know, I know that for sure. I know this is a super tough fight. I know this is a big challenge and I'm excited. You know, I've always liked this big challenge because they always make me better. They make me smarter and I'm happy. I'm really happy with this, with this match. Are you bothered by the fact that it seems like a lot of fans, a lot of uh, quote unquote experts are not giving you much of a chance to actually win? No, I mean, <laughs> I'm the one who's going to perform that night. So exactly. I'm, I'm just focused on me and my team and everything I'm doing. I'm just living like the best moment of my life. Can't lie about that. So I have my love glasses on so I can <laughs> I can't see hate. <laughs> I like that. What would it mean to, again, not just go in there, not just become UFC champion, but also to dethrone one of the greatest, you know, forget the female, the greatest fighters, period, the UFC has ever seen? Imagine that, you know, I've been dreaming with that moment since the first time I got the offer to fight for the title shot. This will mean a lot for me. And also because I have two another Mexican um, friends that also have a, a belt right now. So it's yeah. a big motivation for me. I think I, I could achieve great, great things. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Uh, you're right. Talking about Brandon, it seems the Mexican, uh, we know Mexican boxers for a long time have been great. But to see the uh, Mexican MMA fighters really ascending has got to be pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. I always been asked it how like when will Mexico will be achieving like bigger things? When will Mexicans will be? And now we're doing. I always said it's just a matter of time. The the sport was kind of new here in 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 our country, but now we are doing great. You know, we are looking more um, Mexican flags in the rankings. A lot of Mexican athletes in the UFC. So this is a big big achievement for us. Uh, without giving away all of your game plan, obviously, uh, how do you beat her? What is the path to beating Valentina Shevchenko? Uh, of course, I won't tell that. <laughs> That's my game plan. Of course, I'm not going to say that. But, but, every, but uh, uh, what I can say is that I have a big, big, big heart. You know, my desire to win this fight is way big than anything in this world. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it every single minute of every round. If she is watching this right now, what would you say to Valentina? Oh, uh, well, honestly, I'm thankful for the opportunity. I know that it's not easy to be a title contender, but I'm happy to have the challenge and I'm gonna give a war.